Hey folks, um, I want to show a little demo um, that I created for the UI over the wire RFC. Um, UI over the wire is pretty much um, server-side rendering, but completely built into Ruby on Rails. So what we can do with um, Ruby on Rails is we can actually use the foreign function interface to directly interact with um, Google's V8, um, the JavaScript engine, to render an arbitrary complex application on the server side. So I created this little um, Rails, like it's a, a new Rails application that does not a lot of, uh, that can literally do nothing. So it's a bare bones Rails application. Um, it has a single route um, to a home view and it has this little um, tag helper here called easy run app tag, which takes an asset ID and um, compiles that asset in this case is a JavaScript application on the server and returns a string for it. It also rehydrates the JavaScript application after it has been loaded on the client side. Um, this is completely working out of the box with a standard Rails application because we're using the asset pipeline. So when we go to the JavaScript folder, we see a my app and a my app server JSX. The minor server is by convention, but it doesn't really matter. You can look into the application. Um, this one here hydrates the application that already exists. And the my app apps, uh, the my app server one is actually using server render to string to, um, to render the application to a string. Okay, so I'm going to start up my application here and uh, open it in the browser. And you can see this beautiful Tailwind UI example. This is a React app rendered on the server. Um, and if you don't believe me, we're going to disable JavaScript now. So let's go to debug, disable JavaScript, close the settings, reload, 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 reload. Works perfectly. We can look at the network tab, see like a few milliseconds um, that are spent on rendering on the server. We can even look into the preview here. We see like the whole pages uh, returned from the server. Um, when we go to the the actual application, um, so this is my application. This can, I, I chose React, but it's also working with you, by the way. Um, you can see this is a fairly complex application, and it works. Um, one thing that is kind of interesting, though, it does not do any network requests right now, but we can also do this. Um, when we use an Apollo provider, for just as an example, we can intercept network requests uh, to the GraphQL API instead of sending the request over the network, we actually can just forward it to the GraphQL controller and immediately return the response to the user. This is done by intercepting the fetch calls um, on the server side. So <laughs> every single time, uh, just let me, let me show you how this is done. Um, so every single time we get a fetch request, we actually intercept it and just return our response. This could just be any callback in, I could just invoke any callback in Ruby. Um, but yeah, I will uh, reserve that for another demo, um, but it's theoretically possible. So we can get super fast service at rendering with a simple um, tag helper and a lot of magic behind it. Thank you.